Hello all, welcome to part 15 of Cucumber BED training series. In this session, I'm going to practically demonstrate running multiple feature files together using runner class. Okay, we are going to create a runner class using which we are going to batch run the combination of feature files or multiple feature files together, batch running of the feature files together. So let's get started. Till the previous session, we are running the feature files individually or separately, okay? So we so far in the project uh, from the previous sessions, you know that in that project we created three feature files. One of the name is login login feature file, as you can see, login feature file we created in the project, then register feature file we created, search feature file we created. So if you have to run these scenarios from this uh, feature files, you have to go with only one feature file at a go. I have to open the login dot feature file and run that. Okay, all the five scenarios from this uh, login feature file will run separately. Then if I have to run the scenarios from the register, I have to I have to run it separately. I have to run the search. So scenarios in the search, I have to run this search feature file separately using Cucumber option, right? But now what I'm saying is I want to run all the scenarios from all these three feature files, whatever the multiple feature files currently have in this project together. As a batch, I want to run. For that, we need to create a class. As mentioned here, we are going to run the multiple feature files together using a runner class. We have to create a runner class to make this batch running of this multiple feature files together possible, okay? So how to create that runner class and right click on the same package uh, where this uh, step definitions and feature files are available under same package and create a new class guys. You can name this class anything, but I prefer to give some name like my runner. You can give any name guys. Okay. You can even give normal runner only my runner, whatever the runner you want to give. Some people will give test runner and all those stuff. I, I prefer giving my runner for now. Click on finish. And here the class got created on the top of this class guys. I have to provide an annotation from JUnit guys. Okay. That is run with annotation from JUnit. Okay. At the rate run with annotation from JUnit. But in order to import this annotation, this project is not configured with JUnit H. Okay. It came by default with JUnit, but in the previous sessions, one of the previous sessions, I removed the JUnit dependency tags from pom.xml file. Now, if you go to the pom.xml file under the dependencies, if you see only the dependencies for Cucumber are there. These three th dependencies are from Cucumber library only. Okay. But now I would like to add JUnit dependency also so that I can import that annotation from JUnit. For that, I'll open the browser and search mvnrepository.com and here I'll say JUnit, okay? And when I say JUnit, I, I'm getting the JUnit option here, JUnit, JUnit, click on the JUnit. So I'll go with the latest version available here, okay? Under this JUnit, whatever the latest version is there, 4.13.2 is there, I'll click on that and I'll copy this and uh, paste it here, okay? I'll paste it here and I'll organize the dependency tags and click on save all button done let's see whether it will work or not so once the progress is done progress is still going as building and all those things are happening let's wait until the progress is done once the progress is done close the format xml file now hover the mouse on at the rate run with and now you are getting an import statement import run with from org.jnit runner or you can even add this jnit4 library to the build path that is also fine guys okay i'll go with the first option better because since we already have added the libraries it's better to import it from the run with, okay? If this is not working, you can go with this, okay? Import this from JNIT, okay? Run with is done. So at the rate run with uh, importing is done, but uh, it needs some arguments, guys, okay? Missing arguments, it is saying. If you say this uh, circular brackets, you can give, guys, to give the missing arguments. Here in the circular brackets, you have to say cucumber dot class, okay? You have to say cucumber dot class. What is this cucumber dot class? This at the rate run with is from JNIT, whereas cucumber is from Cucumber library, guys. Already we have added the libraries of Cucumber, so we don't have to do much. Simply, guys, hover the mouse on Cucumber and uh, import this Cucumber from Cucumber library. You see Cucumber JNIT, uh, from Cucumber JNIT, we are getting this. Okay, that, that's it. This is purely from JNIT, you see, from JNIT library, whereas this Cucumber class is from Cucumber JNIT. You see, if you see the dependency tags here, one of the dependency tag is uh, JNIT Cucumber will be there. Uh, you see, Cucumber JNIT will be there. From this library, we are getting that uh, Cucumber class, okay? So that's it guys, we don't have to do much. So now, once this uh, once this runner class is created like this, now if you run this runner class, all the feature files that are there in the project will be running, not the only one feature file, okay? Login feature file will run, register feature file will run, search feature file will run. All the three, if, if, even though you have 100 feature files, all the 100 feature files will run with the help of the runner class guys, okay? That's the power of the runner class. You have to create the runner class where the feature files are available, okay? Now, if I run this, Using which option I'm going to run this? At the rate run with is from JUnit, right? So I'll get an option from JUnit, guys, okay? If I right click on this uh, code and say run as, you will get JUnit option, okay? JUnit is a unit testing framework similar to TestNG. In one of the previous sessions, I covered uh, 
I mean, I, in other uh, playlist guys, okay, I covered this JNet thing, okay. So in a separate, uh, you know, kind of course, I covered the JNet, okay. So you don't have to have the knowledge of JNet. I'm just simply saying JNet is a unit testing framework, okay. You can wa watch my other videos on JNet, okay, for that. But uh, it's similar to TestNG. TestNG is more powerful than JNet, but JNet is also used in some places, okay. So for now, we are getting JNet, guys, okay. Select JNet test. Instead of Cucumber option, you are getting JNet. This class will run with the help of JNet. And uh, you, you are getting another uh, tab known as JNet tab. And in the console, you see, you got the output already. Okay, all the steps in all the feature files from 12 scenarios, uh, which are uh, separated by three feature files got printed, you see. You can see everything got, all the print statements got printed, okay. Login page related uh, statements got printed, then uh, register page related statements got printed, then search related statements got printed. That means all the all the feature files, all the three feature files got run together. You can see the JNE tab here and in the my runner, you can see user login. Okay, these are the five scenarios from the first feature file. And then you, this is a feature name we have given, right? User login is the name of the feature we have given. Under user login, we got these five scenarios, okay? And uh, for the registration feature, register dot feature file, user registration is the name we have given, feature, feature name we have given. So from that four scenarios got run and such functionality, three scenarios got run. Everything got passed, everything is in green color. So everything is passed. So this is the thing guys, this is the thing, okay? This is the thing. This is how we can run all the feature files together. And if you see the output console again, you see everything looks good, right? Everything looks good and uh, we got a proper uh, box and all and the print statements, all the methods in the step definition classes got a, uh, uh, invoked and all the print statements got printed. Okay. All the three feature files, uh, all the three, uh, all the scenarios from the three feature files got run in a batch. That's the main thing. Okay. As a batch, they got run. As a batch, they got run. So, fine. So, one, one thing is that this output is coming good. The reason may be already in this Eclipse ID, I may have installed one plugin, guys. Okay. So, if I go to Eclipse Marketplace, Okay, by default, you may not get the same output, guys. Okay, maybe I'm have installed one plugin here. Okay, it will not come by default, but uh, I may have installed it already. That's why the output is coming properly. But let me check. Uh, and see if I search for and see, let's see if I get a plugin like this. Uh, escape, escape, uh, console. Okay, let's see. I'll search with different terms. Let's see. Let's switch. The progress is still going on. It's searching something. It's taking too much of time. That's okay. Yeah, this is the plugin, guys. Anti escape in console. It's not there, but still the output is coming fine. Okay, then no, not required though. Okay, this box is coming fine means uh, and uh, this plugin is not uh, installed. It means that's okay. Anti escape in console plugin install option is coming means it's not there, but still the plug, but still it is working fine. Okay, then no, no need of this plugin, guys. Okay, earlier we need to, we have to install this plugin uh, to get a proper output in this console. Okay, but uh, this box is coming fine and there are no issues here. I don't think uh, we have to go with that uh, plugin now. Okay, that plugin is not required anymore, it seems. Okay, we can ignore that. Fine. I just wanted to check that before going to the next session. So for now, uh, the main focus of this session was to uh, show you how to run this uh, multiple feature files as a batch using this runner class. Okay. With the help of JNIT annotation and a cucumber dot class from cucumber JNIT library by creating this kind of class, all the feature files got run together. Okay. Instead of running them separately, we are able to run as a batch. So, guys, uh, that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.